It is AVL the God, and we are back. We are back with another music review. And today, today, we got Lecrae. I think he's responding back to Kendrick Lamar with Ain't Watch the Party Die. We got to check it out. I'm not too sure what he's going to talk about. I do not know nothing about Lecrae, but when I did look him up, he looked like he was just doing podcasting. So I really don't know much of him, but we're going to get into his music. Let's check it out. Lecrae, ain't watched the party die. The cover was some white air forces. Different. I was wrestling like, should I write a verse? The culture got enough clout chasing vultures out here, trying to prove they worth. They need attention. They can't imagine me not trying to make myself look bigger off of this Kendrick mention. I can't imagine his position. Before I got on my mission, I was a party victim. I bought the party favors. I used my trauma, my single mama, to justify commas to pay the devil's wages. Woo! Huh. It probably went over their heads. Basically, what I said is I was government fed, bread for doing time in the feds, but Jesus bled. Instead of putting dents in their head, he turned his. My cup run. Damn, I wasn't expecting this. I do not love Lecrae at all, but it sounds like he is a real lyricist. He is really talking to him. And so far, he's really responding, like, word for word. Left over with nonsense. They hearts grow colder. They love to do evil. They burn their conscience. I want the dealer's head who gave my cousin fentanyl. Labels exploiting rapping addicts. Man, I'm sick of y'all. My daddy ran with Compton Chris. My uncle's Pyro. Stuck in the middle of this madness. What should I choose? I should be choosing between Howard and Hampton. I love the people that I ran with, but look at the damage. You want me to put you on, but I know you still with the scamming. A crooked doctor took advantage and hooked me on Xanax. It's killers sitting in a cell for taking somebody innocent and they don't even feel no remorse the worst ignorance but when i take a look in the mirror the blood of uriah's on my hands because i'm that killer who had bad sheba in his quarters i'm that who let eve taste the fruit of death i'm dead sinner i deserve death along with all these liars and hypocrites fake tough rappers who fabricate they predicaments fake deep guru pushing voodoo on the people telling folks that my god ain't real that's real evil huh. i wonder what lecrae would do so far, I ain't, I ain't even gonna lie. This is way more entertaining and listenable than Kendrick's. I'm gonna be honest with you. I ain't no glazing dick writer like half of y'all who swear that Kendrick's song was so fire, you gotta pick it apart, blah, blah. This right here, great response so far, great response. Hopefully seek the hand of God and tell him that he's incapable. But truthfully, I'm nobody to judge. My good deeds are like some period blood stains on a dirty rug. All I can offer them is Jesus' love. I know it sounds foolish to many, like, really? That's all you got for us? Yeah, the cross is foolish to the perishing. The world will call me weak and the saints will say I embarrass them. I walk the valleys full of evil, I'm aware of it. I can't condemn the world and burn all other heretics. Love is patient, so I'm trusting in the narrative. And Christ ain't watched the party die, he died instead of it. Hey, I really like the way he responded on that. You know, like simple, easy. I like that. We live in an era where we're writing tracks to uplift our brothers and sisters instead of diss tracks. I don't know if I would call it uplifting. He was more of admitting the fact that he's a part of the party. At least he was. And admitting the fact that he was basically paid to have other people's opinions instead of his own and like i always be saying i feel like that's what the music industry does to these people it watered it waters down these rappers and their opinions and makes them not let you know what they're really thinking but really what the industry is thinking and that i don't like you're not real and that's why i would like to see many rappers and entertainers more independent than signed to a label and we all find out a way to push ourselves. The internet is big. We got so many social medias. You could easily advertise your damn self. Fuck the industry. But if you're looking at me industry, I don't want no problems. Um, the boy Kendrick doing a John crossover event. I love the response. Glad Kendrick mentioned him. This is sick. I never thought I'd see the day. I hear a Lecrae reference. And the fact that Lecrae even replied is just 
fire. The world call me weak and the saints say I'm embarrassed him is the best line. Everybody called him corny because of his faith, but those of the faith called him lukewarm because they are phrases that judge people based on their works. That was brilliant. Bar to dismiss both of those people's opinions on him. Yeah, if you, I don't I don't care if you talk about God in your tracks and stuff like that. Like it just make it entertaining. A lot of y'all just keep, you know, get too deep into the God world and then you just sound like a disciple at this point. A rap disciple. That you know, and I don't like those. But this sound like more lyrical and down to earth and admitting the fact of who he is and what he's doing today, which is probably why he does the podcasting and to really set his own opinion in place and so really people can know. Him. But I still don't know. I'm not understanding. And I don't get it. Maybe you guys could let me know in the comments is why he still mentioned Lecrae. I do not understand. I've never heard him before he even mentioned him, to be honest with you. So I'm not really sure why he mentioned him. Do you mention him because he believes in God? It's asking what will Lecrae would do because he believes more in the higher power and he's more nicer than Kendrick in a way. And Kendrick is more evil because he kept saying pray for him, but he's trying to kill people and do all this and and that so it was right it was like in between it was like he had a devil and an angel on his shoulder you know when kendrick was spinning but this guy just gave the angel version that's what i feel i really like this response it would definitely make me want to listen to more lecrae i really don't know him like that i did see he was on the radar freestyle i didn't really check it out we definitely gotta check that out after so he's really pushing and moving off and clouting off the Kendrick reply so that's cool to me I love to see that that's what I would do if you mention me on a track and I don't and I'm, I'm gonna start rapping you know fuck that I'm gonna start putting out more content you mention me but yeah this is good that's how you give your glory hallelujah nobody could ever make me hate Lecrae this was fire this was really fire I don't think it was promoted like it should have been I really like this I like how it went the response was very genuine real it wasn't like a diss but it was more saying like who he is and what he's doing now but like i always say it's avl the god like comment subscribe let me know what you think in the comments do you guys fuck with lecrae do you guys even know lecrae like me i don't he ain't watched the party die today so it doesn't seem like he never even was there to watch the party die or even he was getting paid to to party with them that's what I would say. Just saying. But Lecrae, I would say he's just fire. I'm definitely going to listen to him more. Maybe you guys let me know in the comments some more great songs from him. But yeah, let me know. This was Lecrae. Ain't watched the party die. Kendrick Lamar response. And today, today, we had the God spin.